Now is the Democratic Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett from Texas. Congresswoman, good to see you. And I just want to be clear to our audience, we Northerners don't think Texas is all one big thing. It is the size of the moon, but you're from the Dallas area, not the Houston area. But you know of this topic very well. You were a Texas state legislator. Uh, this is a big deal in Texas. Houston is a little different from some of the other parts of Texas. It's a majority minority place, a lot of black and brown students. The Houston Independent School District does have some issues with its test scores and its, its reading comprehension. There's not a lot of people who don't think that it needed some sort of improvement and reform. But this hits close to home on this show, the, the, the reassigning of librarians and the using of a library as a discipline center. Yeah, so it's great to see you. Um, I remember when I saw a video of Lauren, the parent that was featured um, in there, and she went viral. And I think everyone felt her when she talked. And I remember sharing that. I would say probably about um, right as we left on our recess, I actually went to Houston. So I was in Houston with uh, Al Green as well as Sheila Jackson Lee. They are the two African-American members um, from that area. And we did a round, uh, a, like a round table or a town hall type of setup. And this was actually the big topic. So we had this conversation. Um, I talked about it from what I experienced in the Texas House because they had been trying to do a takeover of HISD when I was in the Texas House. Um, but but let's talk about kind of the bigger implications and what's yep. going on. Um, you talked about the fact that there was a problem. The question is, what is the solution? I can right. tell you what the solution ain't. And the solution ain't this, right? Um, because we know that like Republicans love to ignore data. They just decided to take advantage of a situation. You talk about it being a majority minority city. I do want to make sure that your viewers know that actually the state of Texas, surprisingly, um, is a majority minority state. You wouldn't think it based on the votes that we see coming out, but that's a whole other issue. But when we talk about voting, you have to recognize what was said. And there were so many amazing nuggets that I actually took mm -hmm. down. But this looks more like an autocracy then it feels like a democracy. And I tell people all the time, you may not like who it is that's sitting in office, but that's what democracy is about. You take a chance on somebody, they're not getting the job done, you go in, you vote them out. Right. Well, Houston doesn't have control over Austin, right? Like you've got 150 state house members that are coming from all over the state. You've got a governor. I'm sure Houston and Harris County didn't go for Governor Abbott. I'm sure mm -hmm. they probably went for Beto. Um, so it, it's it's the the lack of democratic process, and people don't understand that Republicans are tearing our democracy down, one um, school board at a time, one city council at a time, um, one county commissioners. I'm sure that they're coming after them next. But it has wide-reaching and far-reaching implications. Um, as you know, over the six-week recess, we typically go on CODELs. And it has been really disturbing to hear um, from some of these heads of states and these ministers about how they're looking at the United States. Hey. So I want people to know that people are looking at us and wondering what is going on in this country. Uniquely in Texas, because Texas is one of the states in America that existed not as an American state at one point, under its own flag. It was its own republic. It's got this whole home yeah. rule thing in Texas. So the yeah. idea that you're taking away Houston's home rule, we saw this in COVID, by the way, in Texas, um, back when you were in the state house, where the the the, yeah. the, the state house, the, the state decided that certain places couldn't make their own uh, rules on, yeah. on COVID and masks in schools. So it's it's a it's a weird thing about Republican conservative Texas that thinks that people should be able to make their own rules and and vote for the people who represent them. And yet the state says, well, not really in Houston. No, they don't believe in local control if the locals that are doing the control and are Democrats. That's just the bottom line. Yeah, right. Um, we have these crazy bills that were coming through the Texas House. I remember you know, I came in in the midst of George Floyd. And so instead of deciding to do something to fix policing, they decided that they wanted to fix those city councils that decided that they wanted to reimagine what policing would yep. look like and prioritize the dollars in a different way. What is most disturbing, though, about this, and there's so many disturbing things, 
is, you know, we talked for years about the pipeline to prison, the school pipeline to prison. And that's what this feels like because yep. you, and, and interestingly enough, you heard from Lauren, she said, even prisons have libraries, yep. right? Um, so you're doing a couple of things. Number one, you're hurting the kids because emotionally they are feeling like second rate, second class citizens. They're asking, why is it that my friends have access to things that I don't? And honestly, yep. we've been hearing all this stuff about a two tier system as it relates to justice in this country. But this is and what we're this seeing. fraud of an ex president, yep. right? But this is a two tier education system yep. that we have been complaining about anyway. The haves have all always gotten everything that they needed as it relates to education. And it's been those that don't necessarily have the money yep. to send their kids to private schools that have always struggled. Not to mention, we know the roots in slavery. So as they also are trying to take out um, an education, an honest education on slavery, we know that the one thing that they wanted to make sure that black folk didn't get was access to yep. literacy. And That's so right. when you start taking away the literacy, then we know where you're going with this. You are trying to control the people, and this is the very opposite of what freedom looks like in this country. Thank you for this. We appreciate it. I knew that talking to you would be the right thing to do out of that remarkable piece of journalism by Antonia Jasmine Crockett, Democrat.